Koko Yamazaki. And now her greatest competitor, thus far anyway, Laurie Fung of Canada, who's had two excellent scores in rope and hoop, at the moment lies second overall by my calculations. Hiroko Yamazaki looking like the lady to beat, but Laurie Fung really is a crowd pleaser. Yes, this is an up-and-coming girl. She's, we, we haven't seen her too much before. She's been around over the last few years on the international scene. And over this last year, she's made tremendous progress. We've all been watching her in warm-ups. Works very quickly, but seems to be able to extend at full extension very, very quickly. Difficult catch to finish. Delightful exercise. And what a score. 9.35 for Laurie Fung of Canada. Well, she'll be delighted with that. Now that's going to make the lead very interesting indeed, Marion, because Laurie Fung has certainly looked like the crowd pleaser, has certainly looked like she's getting more enjoyment out of it, and a couple of times has been eclipsed in terms of score, but this time she's topping the bill. Yes, she's not only performing in a very spirited manner, but she's also not making the errors. And in the top few, it'll be those that make the mistakes that will have to drop. We have to remember too that the judges are, are human. They will respond to the same things that the crowd respond to. There's a couple of very novel throws under the legs. And they're not as easy as they look. And now look at this, Tony, from the, between the toes, over the head and into the hand. routine. That's what it's all about. 